Just really proud of our team today. Phenomenal effort in a tough environment. Great crowd today. Credit to Missouri for doing a phenomenal job today. With It's always a fun place to play, a great atmosphere, and really appreciate their support of women's basketball. But just really proud of our team. We had a tough opener, and <coughs> excuse me, our response was phenomenal. Um, we were consistent. I thought we got off to really good starts in the first and the third. And um, really proud today of the way we shot the ball and the decision making on both sides of the ball. We were able to get critical stops and make some big shots. That's fifth three point shooting today. You know, what do you feel like <coughs> today? I think it was 15 threes made today. You know, we like to shoot the three too. You know, I think these are probably two of the um, teams in the league that we both know. We are uh, similar styles and we both um, like to recruit shooters. And um, our kids did a really good job today of sharing the ball, having 19 assists you know, on, on um, 28 baskets, pretty special. So really proud of the way we shared the ball. And we were just able to make a few more than they were today because they shoot it so well. But I loved our uh, defensive intensity. I thought we did a really good job of, you know, making every shot be contested. Aaliyah, we talked about that three-point game. Offensively, didn't have the best game against Ole Miss. Bounced back with that truly incredible performance, especially from behind the arc. How are you able to just kind of put that last game behind you and focus on this matchup? Um, I think my coaches and teammates have a lot of confidence in me, and they know I struggled in that game, and they just kept giving confidence to me, uh, stay up, keep shooting. Um, and I think my teammates, they really found me the ball, and today I had a lot of opportunities because they played zone to get the ball and shoot. Um, I think a lot of us did, and that's why we shot the ball so well. So shout out to my coaches and teammates for that. Coach, what was it about your offensive scheme that left open a lot of those wide open threes for you, especially kind of the backside? Yeah, you know, I think it's just ball reversal and sharing the basketball, playing inside out. You know, we got the ball in the paint. I thought uh, maybe the play of the game, and I told her at the timeout, and might not should have because the game certainly went over, but it was when Essence Cody had the assist to her on the three back side. I mean, it's a really good job of playing inside out. And anytime you can get the ball of the paint off two feet or to a post touch, it really opens things up. So, um, done a really good job. Our kids looked um, connected tonight offensively, and I'm really proud of the way they shared the ball and found each other. I thought it, you know, it was really eye opening to me early in the game. They were really crowding Aaliyah, and she played off two feet and found SA. I think SA had the first six baskets of the game, and I'd be curious to see if that didn't start from Aaliyah at times. Coach, um, you guys go into the halftime tied at 41. You come out of that half. You guys clearly look better on the defensive end. What did you tell your team during that break to really turn it around? I think that's hard to practice, you know, um, for Mizzou because they do so many back screens, flare screens. Um, they'll post up the perimeter. And we haven't had our practice guys because we're not in class. So, you know, we're just uh, – we're not able to really simulate what we were going to see. And I think it took us a few minutes to understand what we were trying to teach and talk about the last 48 hours. And um, that was kind of a classroom, a lesson for us in the first half. And – I don't know that we made any adjustments as a staff. I think our kids just started to understand with the flow of the game exactly what we had been trying to, to teach and discuss. So credit to our kids for coming back out. And it, it was toughness. You know, I, I think it was a game of both teams are so incredibly tough. And um, we were just proud we were able to get a few more stops down the stretch. Coach, obviously she went down hurt late in the game, but what's yeah. the challenge of going against a player like Mama? Dick well, I, first of all, my thoughts and prayers are with Mama. I have so much respect for her. And, you know, gosh, what is she, 80-plus assists on 30 turnovers for the year. And to watch her growth in this league and her leadership and how she runs her team. And, um, you know, she's – She's just special to watch. And um, we certainly had problems with the window. We did discuss her at halftime. And um, we, were, we were a little bit crowding her a little bit too much. And I thought we did a better job of controlling her in transition. She got some really, really open baskets in transition. But um, first of all, I just hope she's better because our league, uh, just for her sake, she's a really good player. She's really grown and matured. She's just so quick with and without the ball. <clears throat> Hey, thank y'all for covering women's basketball. Thank you.